what's up YouTube and to all the viewers out there so today come and join me as we take a look with my new metal diecast Kyle from Street Fighter series so finally he arrived just today and as you can see he's already in the palm of my hands so before we open the box let me show you what is the style of the packaging of this figure so this is a non-articulated figure this is a statue figure so i'm going to show you what is exactly the design of the box so as you can see in the front of the box we have a window type so we can see the figure inside and we have here a picture of our hero for today which is guile and also the logo of Street Fighter and we have his name Guile and uh, also indicated in the top of the box which is the metal die cast from Jada Toys so in this side of the box so there is a half body of Guile okay with his name uh, the same with this other side okay so here at the back uh, as you can see, we have the available figures in this line or in this series for the Jada Street Fighter. Okay, so this is a mini figure of the Street Fighter character. So as you can see, we have here a guy. Uh, we have Ryu, we have Bison, we have Chun Li, and our main topic for today for our unboxing, we have Gaia. So there's nothing unusual in front or i mean in the top of the box so just you know like that so come and join me as we uh gonna open this box and see the quality of the figure okay so be right back stay tuned guys again guys so this is our actual figure outside the box so we have kyle so i picked kyle because uh, he is my favorite character in Street Fighter game and also he is my main uh, hero when I played, when I started play uh, Street Fighter way back since Street Fighter 2, uh, Street Fighter Alpha, Alpha 3, Street Fighter 4, or even the new uh, Street Fighter 5 Champion Edition. Okay, so he is my main hero for the Street Fighter game. So I like him because uh he is very patriotic okay he really loves his country and i also like his signature moves which is the sonic boom and the flash kick so as you can see uh the detailed it is fully sculpted so if we're going to look at the figure we can uh already tell that this is guile yeah because of a high quality paint job and also the skull so the materials of this thing is uh, this is a uh, metal okay this is a pure metal guys so the paint job in the upper part of his body this is a uh, matte finish so as you can see so uh, we have his sando okay because he's wearing sando and then his dog tag also is uh, sculpted in his body so this is not a removable removable dog tags okay because this is a statue figure so his uh, flag for the USA is also uh, painted in his uh, bicep here okay so, uh, this is non articulated figure so I just want to show you if the quality paint of this uh, figure come on focus guys come on give me focus okay so uh, in the lower part of this body this is uh, glossy okay glossy for his cam cam camouflage and his boots also encrypted or sculpted okay in his feet and as you can see 
Okay, so we have a perfect guile. Hmm. So I just hope that uh, it has uh, articulation or just a background for his stage for the uh, airfield so that we can create a uh, diorama for uh, this figure at least he doesn't have the articulation or the movement but at least we can display him with his uh, stage in the background but anyway that's not a big issue we can still create our own diorama for this one we can print okay for his uh, air for airfield stage okay just like in the game so as you can see it is highly detailed a chibi figure for guile from the jada metal die cast so i'm just going to show you the sculpt mm. i really love this character guys he is really my favorite character in the game okay because he is a defensive type of character and then even though he don't have a lot of techniques but his normal okay his normal punch his footsies are very strong okay so it also depends on the player how are you going to uh, win using this character because he is a defensive type of character so you're just going to wait and then uh, counter for the exact timing okay and he's also a charging character so there it is our jada metal diecast guile so thank you for joining joining me in this episode and uh hopefully on the next episode okay we can uh find more okay figure for this one okay for guile because I'm also uh, collecting Gal figures and uh, if I'm going to display him in my cabinet so I need him to be a mint okay so meaning uh, he's still in the box so that is why I did not uh, did not trash his box okay I did not destroy the box because I'm going to uh, return him inside the box because I would like to display him with my Play Art Sky Guile, my Nika Guile. Okay, so all of them are still in a box. So I'm just going to uh, uh, display him with the other figures inside the box. So hopefully I can find more Guiles in the future and also uh, I can... I am going to try hunting for the Just Wear Guile, for the Sota, okay, Sota Guile, and for the Storm Collectibles also, okay, so it has also a Guile from the Storm, and that is a very expensive figure, so hopefully we can find it, so that I can review those figure also for you guys. So again, thank you for joining me, this is Sonix from my Sonix Assorted Blanc. Okay, so uh, stay tuned for more videos and make sure to subscribe in my channel and be safe everyone. God bless and thank you. Sonic Kaboom!